I think um, democracy is part of the Tunisian mentality and landscape. Uh, it took us a long time to basically uh, get here. I think um, a lot of people wanted to have democracy from day one, but um, the fact that independence was won with one party um, allowed that party to silence everybody. Um, and then with the support of the ex-colonizing uh, power uh, and the rest of the regional environment, that was the, the way we basically uh, managed our country for the last 50 years. But in the same time, uh, Tunisians are open uh, to the world and saw how things were happening overseas. And, and the fact that this revolution happened was leaderless, uh, was not organized by a single party. The fact that Tunisia, unlike other revolutions in the region, went straight to uh, an election of a constituent assembly, which means that we're adopting a bottom-top approach, uh, an approach that will take time, but that will pay off on the long term. We, are, we organized nine months later, so it means we took our time to build some sort of consensus and then organize successfully an election an election where more than 90% of the Tunisians voted. It's uh, the one of the highest participant, uh, participation rates that you could ever see in the world, not only in the Arab region. Uh, an election that was clean, well organized, a campaign where people debated and organized their meetings freely. Uh, we did not have a single act of violence. Uh, with a very transparent way of showing the results, with the participation of civil society and international observers. These all indicators uh, are showing that the Tunisians have definitely uh, adopted democracy as a way of functioning. The results of the elections are also showing that Tunisians know what they want. The options were more than 16,000 people candidated in this election. We had a clear majority winning the elections with a participation rate of 90% of the people. This is a legitimate and a representative group of people that will definitely um, allow the, Tunisians, uh, the Tunisian democracy to continue. The winners by also were people who suffered from the dictatorship. The winners are people who were exiled, who spent long time in jail, and who basically uh, paid a hard price to access to democracy. So I don't think democracy is going away from Tunisia anytime soon.